Hey, this is Nimbus Intuition coming to you in a different way today. I'm going to do this with you. I told you I was going to come through this weekend. It didn't happen. I pushed it off a little bit. And I really don't want to push it off again. So I'm going to come to you real quick in this way. And I am going to schedule something this weekend. Just look out for it. So how every how is everyone? I hope everybody is well and doing well and feeling good. Hope you're doing your inner work and staying good on the inside. Because when you're good on the inside, the things on the outside doesn't affect you as much. So let's start off as usual. Let's start off thinking about good things, pleasant things. Things that make you smile. Things that make you laugh. Things that make you feel good. What's that memory? What's that moment that makes you smile so much that your cheeks hurt? Think about that. Think about that. Think about that. What is it that you've seen, whether it was lately or something in your life that always makes you cry so hard that tears start forming in your eyes? Think about that. Think about that. Think about that. And what is it that always has you feeling like you're floating on a cloud? Whenever that was, whatever that was, think about that. Think about that. And let's think about that. Okay. All right, y'all. Okay, so since I'm not coming to you the regular way, I just want to put something out there because this is um, one of those moments that um, reflect something I can bring to you. And so we all have points in our lives where things don't go exactly to plan and sometimes that's something small like you know um, you wanted to go this way down a block and the block was closed off or you wanted to do this certain thing this weekend and something popped up then and the plans were changed it could be anything and to large things that happen in your life your goal gets delayed in some kind of way or you know something you look forward to you know something un out of your control happened and it didn't go to plan and we can't let these things get inside of us we can control the things that we can control and after that what we can do is find ways to go around the things that happen that might delay us find an alternate way to get that to that goal that we're after find a different route to go to get to the location where you were headed and so it's something we always need to remember that just because there is some kind of delay or just because you were kind of sent on a different road than the one you were on doesn't mean that you stopped It never means stopping. So don't stop. Don't give up. Yes, something happened. Yes, you were rerouted. Yes, something got in the way. However, find out what you can do about it. Don't just stop. Don't give up. It's similar to our technology today you know i say technology is proof of god because the things that we can do with each other to me is proof of the spiritual realm and the things that is possible that way but with our device the gps that that app that technology what does it do it tells us where we are going we put in where we want to go And we can relate that to the goals that we have in life. So we know what direction sometimes we want to go with. Not always, but sometimes we specifically know where we want to go. So we put it in our minds. This is something, you know, similar to what we do in the GPS. We put in the location we want to go. And so what happens? We follow in the GPS because the GPS, we put everything in it so that it knows how to get us to where we want to go. And sometimes we, in our lives, we, you know, we find our mentors, we, we look up to adults, our parents, people have gone before us for that kind of direction of where we want to go. But like that GPS, when uh, traffic 
incident comes up or a road closure comes up, the GPS doesn't stop and say, well, the, the trip is over. It doesn't say that you're no longer able to get to your location. What does it do? It recalculates. And we have to do that and remember that in our own lives. You don't stop because something happens. You don't stop because you're not able to do something like you planned on doing it intentionally. You recalculate. You figure out another way to get to your goal. It's a solution-minded way to think about where it is that you want to go and not letting things stop you. And you may have to reach out to others for help with this because we don't know everything. We may need to reach out to someone who's been there and done that about how we can go and get our goal even though this thing is now in the way or we got turned around or we got lost on the way. We can figure it out. We can write it down. We can you know, brainstorm about ways we can still get to that goal. And it may be something that just like when we in that car in the GPS, you might have to go on the back road and you know, the back road takes the longest, but it still will get you to that location. And so just like in life, it may slow you down a little bit than the speed that you wanted to go, but you still can get there. So just remember that. Don't let things stop you. If you really want to do something in life, go for it. As long as it's in your heart and it's good for you and you, you know, you're okay with it, you go for it. And when those times come, when those things come, and sometimes it's even people come to, you know, just slow you up or, or block you from the way you were going or you know, get you off the road. Sometimes it's ourselves. We get ourselves off the road because we get into things we have no business getting into or we get caught up doing other things and get distracted. So we we get off the road on our own. But we always can get back on some kind of way, some kind of direction. It may not be that same direction, but we can get to that goal or as close to it as possible in this lifetime all right so keep that in mind i hope everybody out there is going for their goals to the best of their abilities and never giving up don't even have that as an option don't give up all right there's always a way what's the saying when there's a will there's a way And as long as we have this life, as long as we're breathing, we have will. And so there can be a way. All right, y'all. And so I just want to leave that with y'all real quick because I feel this is very um, relevant to what tonight has been. Like me coming to you in this way. And so find different ways to do whatever it is that you're trying to do. All right. All right, y'all. All All right, again, I hope everybody out there as well. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. I'm going to see y'all this weekend. Just look out for a notification. I'm not sure exactly when this weekend, but it's going to be this weekend. And, um, you know, I'm going to make it happen, you know, in the best way possible. All right, y'all. And so look out for me. Um, Let me send y'all some love. All right, y'all can't see me, but you know, I'm giving y'all one of those virtual hugs. All right, all right, (laughs) all right. I want to say, um, really quickly before I go, thank you, thank you for for all my readers and supporters. I've been continuing to meet so many people going to different places, and it has been amazing. And the people that have been you know, support and reading the book is is amazing. And thank you. I want to say thank you. All right, y'all. All All right, y'all. So have a good week. Um, And I'll see y'all sometime this weekend. Just look out for that. All right. And as always, love and gratitude.